Hello everyone, it's Patty Behan, and thank you for joining me in the studio today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to doodle with Perfect Pearls. So let's get started. Okay, to begin, I'm gonna show you the tools that I have here to do our doodling and drawing. I have a Perfect Medium bullet pen, a Wendy Becky stylus, and I have Perfect Pearl brushes, our Dry Perfect Pearls and our Perfect Pearls palette. And we have a video of how we made this, so we'll put a link up in the right-hand corner here of where you can see that. And then let's get started. So to begin, I'm going to make a card that says hello, and I'm going to have a heart outline. And I'm using a Simon Hurley stamping foam block as my template. And then I also have a piece of Tim Holtz Distress Matte Black cardstock. And what I wanna do is put the heart in the middle of the card. So I'm just going to look at the back here and place it like so. And then I have a pencil and I'm just gonna go and draw an outline. And you don't have to worry about um, erasing this because when we end up putting the pearls over top you won't see the outline and you won't have to worry about that. Okay so now that I have my heart outline the next thing I want to do is write my word in the center and again I'm using the perfect medium bullet pen and then I want to write the word in the middle of the heart here. And I just want to use some fun lettering, nothing really special. I'm just making like tall and skinny letters. And I can make it a little thicker. And the great thing about these pens is they stay wet for a good amount of time so you have a lot of open time to work with this okay I just wanted to make that a little bit thicker and then let me bring this up to the camera for a better look so that you can see and then I'm be using pink gumball turquoise and then I have sunflower sparkle And I have my small Perfect Pearls brush. And what I wanna do is just take a little bit of the powder and I'm going to tap it on. And I wanna to try to get it uh, as close to the ink as I can. And you only need a little bit, a little goes a long way. So. Have that I'm wiping my the excess off my brush and I'm going with the turquoise and I'm doing the same thing just tap a little bit on there wipe off the excess and then my last color sunflower sparkle again and the closer you get to the ink, the less um, waste there will be. But it's okay if you don't hit the mark every single time too. <laughs> okay. So then I'm going to take the, the bigger brush here and I'm going to tap the dust into the ink first so that I make sure the pearls will land where I put them in the first place. And then I'm gonna brush this off on the side and then I'll swirl the color and then brush off the excess of your brush. And then we wanna go ahead and get all the other excess pearls off. And if you keep wiping off your brush 
as you go, that helps too. Okay, and then one final step is I am going to take a paper towel and just get off that excess a little more. And when you go over the words, just go lightly over and you can like get that excess off as well. All right. And let me bring this closer again so you can see that beautiful shimmer. The camera really doesn't do the perfect pearls justice. And let me wipe off my ear area here and we'll get ready for the next spot. I'll get these out of the way. And then I'm going to show you how to use the palette to doodle. So I think I'm gonna start with pink. I'm gonna outline my heart and I'm going to use the stylus to make little dots. So we have to reconstitute our palette here. And I'm just gonna do one color at a time because depending where you are, it might dry out pretty quickly. And so you're just going to make sure it's reconstituted and you get some of the pearls onto the, the stylus. And then you're just going to go ahead and tap it down where you want your dot. And remember I used my pencil to make my outline and I'm just gonna follow that outline to put my first layer of dots. We're gonna make lay layers of multiple colors of dots. And I'm going about like, I don't know, a, a quarter of an inch around. And then, I'm just doing this slowly because my pencil line is very faint and I want to make sure I'm, I can see it. So that, that's why I said you don't have to worry about whether you'll see the pencil line or not when you give your card to somebody. And so not only can you make um, dots with this, you can make dashes, you can make little squiggles using the stylus. It's a lot of fun if you like to doodle. And then you get these this beautiful shimmery little accent on your cards. So I'm going halfway around almost there. The first layer is the one that goes the slowest so that you make sure you hit your mark. But then once you do the other layers, it's a lot easier. And this is so relaxing and very meditative to do this. So if you enjoy just doing meditative art, this is definitely what you would want to do. And then just a couple more over here. And we have our first layer. I'll hold it up for you so that you can see. And then I think the next color that I'm going to use is going to be blue. And I'm going to use this turquoise here. And I'm, again, I'm going to reconstitute it. And then I'm just going to show you um, a couple, couple of dots and then we'll speed it up so that it goes quicker. And just to show you what we're going to do. So you're just gonna go right on top of the dot you did previous, leaving a little space in between, and then 
continue around in the same way we did before. So I think this is where we're going to speed it up and just go ahead and enjoy my process as I do this. Okay, for the next color, we're going to do yellow. I'm going to use Sunflower Sparkle. I'm going to wet my palette. And then I'm going to repeat the process. Next, I'm going to do green. This is mint. And you can see I made a little mistake over here. I'm just going to go over it. Um, when I get to that point. Okay, and now I'm going to do one last color. I'm going to do purple here. Make sure I have enough water. Okay, and now we're done. Let me hold this up. And we're going to let this dry. I think I'll put a heat tool to it and then we'll put the card together. You can see how sparkly and shimmery it is when it dries. Again, the camera doesn't show it as good as you get as it is in person okay so now we're just gonna put this on a card front and i have a tape runner over here And that finishes it off nicely. See how pretty that is? So let me show you some more examples of what we did with this technique. We have this card here where there's a bunch of dots. We embossed a saying. And then we have this card where we did some dots and dashes and a little heart here. And we, um, this is a previous technique we did with Perfect Pearls layering. That's what this heart is made of. We'll put a link to that video up in the top here as well. This is a really fun card where there's this triangle pattern and some dots. And let me get this out of the way. Some more dots for you. It's just a fun technique. Um, this tag, it's a little hard to see maybe. We just painted in some pearls into the flowers here, but we dotted the letters with the perfect pearls. And then here is just a fun little tag with some dots and we outlined the letters with some more perfect pearls. So hopefully this gives you some good ideas and that you'll give this a try. And if you'd like to see more things you can do with perfect pearls, keep watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to see more videos. Thanks again for watching.